Hello and welcome to Football Land. Ooh, Hello. Breathy, I like yeah. it, Ryan. It was, it was a little breathy, but I also wanted to do it quickly so yeah. that you, one of you two didn't interrupt me with something A bit stupid. like a pilot. A bit like a pilot. Oh. Once you've taken off yeah. and the pilot uh, then decides to have a chat with yeah. you for five minutes, why? which is a one way. Yeah, why? Yeah, I don't want to know what you're doing because I'm gripping the <laughs> <laughs> Just arms of uh, this. Also, um, when the pilot starts talking, your in-play headphones stop oh, working. yeah. Yeah. So you can't watch whatever. I mean, I was watching a Muppets documentary yeah. and on Air Canada the other day. The Muppets made documentaries. Yeah, I it was a documentary that, yeah. about the Muppets, about Sesame Street. Oh, about the yeah. Muppets. Yeah. So it wasn't always... like a, a war document like Vietnam, but yeah, as done by Kermit the Frog. <laughs> <laughs> Big Bird's big adventure Beaker. against the Viet Cong. Beaker looks into cluster bombing. <laughs> <laughs> was it always out of focus as well? Because their little poppet hands. Yeah. Kind of... Well, they tried to replicate Ken Loach's famous editing style. All right. Yeah. Well, anyway, this is Football Land, and it's a place where you know we talk about this place that we're building called Football Land, yeah. Uh, yeah. which is a football theme theme park in the Qatari desert. It's two words: football. Land. Yeah. <sighs> it's also a terrible idea, and we've not got going yet. And I worked out the other day we've got something like 250 days. Mm. Uh, November 21st is when the World Cup starts. Yeah. We should probably in the part before then uh, definitely yeah. definitely is there a confederations cup this year like or have we done that already uh, they might have moved it i'm not sure yeah but it this if you think that it starts on the 21st and is wrapped by the 18th of december that's a very short window of yeah. interest yeah where we're going to have the most people yeah. in uh one space that might want to we've also got quite visit. a hefty archive of ideas we've come up with that's the, true uh, given the time that's left and the amount of ideas we've got we need to build a ride every three days now yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah some of them though i mean lee cat a mole is it a cat yeah, or is it a true. mole his petting zoo we can we're leave that one a, we're shaving a cat mm, and, and yeah. putting and, and, and sedating even, it yeah we don't even need lee cat because the great thing with football themed rides is yeah. you just put somebody that looks roughly like them yeah. in a shirt with their name yeah. on the yeah. back yeah and people go oh it's lee cat because nobody really yeah. remembers a what bit lee like Catamol when you go like. to a, a foreign city and you mm. see their wax works yes. so madame two swords i think we're spoiled by madame two yeah, swords they're very good very good like you could go in there and, and you're and they take your breath away you think you actually mm. stood next to katie perry <laughs> but, oh. but if you go to like does she really smell and you're like oh <laughs> katie have a wash <laughs> waxy katie <laughs> oh, if you go to katie, um, oh. Like so Hamburg waxy. or like Rome, and you go and see their waxworks. They mm. are budget. But <laughs> yeah. It's like Poundland waxworks. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we should take a leaf out of their book. It They've doesn't got... matter what they look like. <laughs> if, we see a, Paul, if we see Lee Catamol with a bit of his nose falling <laughs> off and his eyes all wonky, then that's fine. No one's going to care. No. Can I just put? Can I no say no to that? Can right. I put a no? Just a no. Firm no. Firm no. They've got to look no, as real as... Well, no, wax works in the desert. I'm just saying wax works in the desert. <laughs> yeah, no. That's a recipe for disaster. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, right. All right, then. Let's, let's get on with let's it. Let's go on with it. Okay. Oh, right. Um, it's, it's you, isn't it, first, Ryan? It is, it is. yeah. You've got um, an attraction or a ride or an experience. I'm not really sure what this is, but, I mean, I just thought that being as this, we are creating a football thing, um, mm. we would be sort of remiss to honour the passing of uh, of Marcelo Bielsa. And Isn't his it? translator. And his translator, yeah. Who to, had to be killed with yeah, him. Yeah, I know, terrible. Nobody ever thinks about that, do they? Just think about the mate. Oh, what a shame for Marcelo. And then, you yeah, know. what about his whole backroom staff? Yeah, the whole, whole load of redundancies. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I just thought, you know, yes, okay, it's sort of the screamingly obvious that uh, a, a man has been sacked, but, you know, that's what happens in football a lot. Mm. But this was Marcelo Bielsa, and um, it kind of makes it doubly obvious. So obvious, it's like this is his longest stint at any club. Yep. Um, just almost a miracle. It, it lasted this long. Well, he bought a flat above a takeaway. <laughs> Did he? Yeah. He's going to get that on right move. Uh, Chinese takeaway, I think. Oh, yeah. Why? Cantonese, I think. Oh. Because they could, well, they do great food, clearly. You can just go down if you're really busy. True. He was too busy. What Didn't he, like, oversee the, the new training centre at Ellen, at whatever their training ground's called? Mm. Like, putting the pitch down? Yeah. Like, if he, like, in hindsight, if Marcelo Bielsa had spent less time building an, a 4G pitch and more yeah. time actually thinking about the tactics and maybe and less time eating Cantonese yeah, and yeah, looking, yeah it, the signs are there yeah exactly. the signs are there you can tell why they've had a terrible season so yeah. far so his clothes will smell of like cooking oil because oh, it'll yeah. all come up through the floorboards yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, he had no carpet. No. Um, no, he didn't. Yeah, he, no was trying, he was trying to install a 4G uh, surface, and that's why he his sits flat. on a bucket because yeah. upturned, you can put a lot of chow mein in that. <laughs> <laughs> and munch on that through the game. Did yeah. you ever see him sort of like put, yeah. his, fund, put his hands reach around, under, yeah. reach around, under, reach around under there Can't with wait. some chopsticks? The bucket sort of disappeared for the last couple of months. Yeah, he you have to get serious. Yeah. So was that yeah. invisible Cantonese food he was chowing oh. down on? Or maybe he was just on a diet, you know, New Year's resolutions, new, yeah. new me. Maybe new. he'd sort of ate so much Chinese that he was sitting on a sort of a cloud, quite a it, dense cloud yeah. of, of Cantonese, <laughs> <laughs> just squatting above it. Sort of. Uh, it was one of those nice sackings, wasn't it? It was yeah, um, well, lovely everyone sacking. liked him. A good lovely. sacking. It's yeah, a bit like yeah. we're getting a lot of those. There was the Dean Smith sort of, you know. Yeah. Sorry, Dean. You know, it's sort of. And then there was the Frank Lampard, which is also oh, sorry, Frank. But it's almost like the equivalent of a. It's not you, it's me. Mm, yeah. Uh, it's football's equivalent of that. We're not um, good enough for you, Marcelo. Yeah. The opposite to when Rafa Benitez left Everton, everyone hated him. Yeah. And it they was, made their yeah. feelings known and they, they scrawled graffiti on their own ground. Yeah, he was almost ran out of town. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bill um, Kenwright was doing the conga as he sat. <laughs> yeah. So this ride is called the Click Cock Bielsa Clock. Sorry? <laughs> it, this uh, is called the, wait, one more time now. This is called the Click. This is called the Click Cock. This is called the Click Cock Bielsa Clock. It's very hard to say, as is uh, Matthias Click. Yeah. Uh, because you so, sometimes get glitch. So sometimes you kind of get almost like glitch. Mm. Um, and sometimes you get click. Yeah. And so I thought it was fitting to kind of chuck him in there. Um, so let me just try and repeat. It's the click cock, cock. Bielsa clock. Yeah. And I, I know... It is hard. I think we've, all, we've already got sort of Bielsa, you know... Bum bucket carousel. Yeah, bum bucket yeah. carousel. Um but because people are so obsessed with him, it felt fitting that we should probably have two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. At least. Yeah. So I'm leaving that open. One for him and one for his translator. Exactly. Yeah. And so, yeah, we've got Matthias Click and uh, and Robin Cock. Yeah. Um, Robin Cock. That would be a great name for a porn star, wouldn't it? It would. Uh, <laughs> his, his, his videos would probably have... Get I'm bit, Robin Cock. Yeah, they'd probably get a bit <laughs> saving like after a cock. while. I'm Robin Cock. <laughs> Stealing that cock. It's, yeah, it would be, you know, or, uh, yeah, like those weird gen- yeah. pizza ones. Or mm. like those, it would just be him coming in and Robin Cock every yeah. time. He's like, yeah. oh, burglar porn. <laughs> Is it is it like the porno version of Robin Hood? Ooh, he kind of, yes, yeah. He, he... Stealing your penis, stealing your sex toys to give to the poor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody is just about to enter somebody else, and, and Robin swoops in, yeah. probably on a rope, and uh, like uh, like, yeah. like a kind of nineteen forties Robin Hood, and right. just gets his bum in the way quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like Robin Cack. <laughs> Swings in through a window yeah. on a rope. Yeah, on a rope. And, they get, and positions his bum mm. in front of the other performer's bottom. Quickly, yeah. Quickly. Yeah. <laughs> but very uh, importantly, he is flaccid, so not to penetrate the performer. Yeah. He's just robbing. Oh, yeah. The re- yeah, yeah. The re- the, he so, becomes the receiver. So the tragedy is he, yeah. he gets no stimulation from it. Well, I mean, he gets quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, but he, yeah. yeah, but he can't be aroused. He well, Yes, he can't be, yeah. He's got to no. fight back that yeah. feeling. So that's a tough job. It's a tough. What? Why, <laughs> why can't he be around? Because he's then going to accidentally penetrate the other performer. And for some reason in the contract, that's a no-no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I don't, yeah, it's, it's porn. They're not going to go, oh, sorry, that is bang out of order. It's one too Stop many, it. one too many willies. Yeah. You know what they say? Too yeah. many cocks spoil the broth. They do. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the that's... big salty broth. <laughs> Any, anywho, so um, so, I was sorry, just very briefly going back yeah, to go on, Ro- going back yeah, to oh, the Robin Hood for porn. <laughs> Ro- Robin, the, the alternative version where it's it's robbing sex toys from the rich and yeah, giving to the yeah, imagine yeah. Marcus Rashford turning up <laughs> in kind of deprived part of Manchester and unloading the van just full of sex toys, just giving them out, throwing them out like yeah. sweets. So would he? Would he be a national hero if he did that? Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he okay. finally the Tories yeah. have, have, have been forced into an embarrassing U-turn where they weren't letting <laughs> like anyone have free dildos. Mum's <laughs> bigging him up on TV. <laughs> <laughs> so Matthias Click and Robin Koch, Koch yeah. um, German and Polish, I thought, what do they mm-hmm. have in common? 
Sausages. They're yeah, both sausage and beer. lovers. They don't like beer yeah. as well, True. to be they fair. To be like fair. Beer. beer and sausage, that's yeah. fine. So I thought, what what this ride basically is, is, you know, it's Bielsa time where on viewing, things appear to be moving faster than they are. Uh-huh. And so I think this is kind of like an experience or a, a kind of a, a thing that you buy in Football Land so that you can do as much as possible. Yeah. Uh, and so I thought in the, in that kind of, we're in a kind of very highbrow sciencey world. I thought what better way to do that than maybe to get click and cock in sausage outfits. Right, right, um, right. And <laughs> on a really low rent football land, very apt football land esque way of doing that, I mm. thought they could maybe carry you around. If you get tired, they carry you at high speed to other rides. Yeah. Uh, kind of orchestrated by a, a squatting uh, Bielsa, probably yeah. on a very high very well, tall bucket. They could actually, instead of the sausage, they could be two baps and Ooh, you could be the sausage. Yes. Carrying around I mean, like a big would, hot dog. I mean, I would very much pay to be in that bun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and for the Bielsa, rather than being on a bun bucket, if he's a giant mm. Bielsa, he Ooh. could be hovering by what you said earlier, the the, oh, the, chow mein. the, the thrust of chow mein farts. Yeah. And if, yeah. if none of that works, uh, we could just get uh, Bielsa to stand on his translator's shoulders. Mm. Uh, it works as a kind of metaphor um, and also it would give him a great vantage point. Yeah. So he could yeah. kind of see... The interpreter's hair would permanently be ruffling with Cantonese farts. Oh, yeah. that is true. We Maybe some kind of bung. Um, yeah. or filter like yeah. kind of some kind of like it. We well, could, maybe he likes it we could yeah we could speak to Tenor and see if they could w- make a kind of filter pant like a kind yeah. of like their kind have of have you adult. seen those adverts in service stations uh, for anti-fart pants Oh, no. They're, they're real. They're, they're oh, real. I can't remember pants. what they're called, but they're, they're really strange adverts. So, <laughs> so you're standing at a urinal. Just yeah. don't stand near a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> the, put put another <laughs> pair of thought pants on the barbie. <laughs> the first one I saw was a bloke standing upright in just his pants and a Ooh. woman pressing her nose into his bum. Whoa. Wow. And, and I was standing at the urinal looking at this thing. What are they advertising here? <laughs> And and it was yeah you, you can fart as much as you like the smell was there a vending machine no it was just, just it was just, just a no. flat, from flat advert yeah it was a website buy from Marks and Spencer I mean I don't think Marks and Spencers do them yet but they're missing yet. out yeah but yeah, what's strange I take a pair there's certain, <laughs> you, there's certain times you definitely tactically put a pair of those on definitely you know yeah yeah um, for me the tactic would be all the time <laughs> <laughs> okay so they're going to need to be comfortable. <laughs> Okay, well, all right, maybe, yeah, you hunt those down, um, just in case we do need to stand Bielsa on the translator's shoulder. Yeah. Um, but I'll, I'll, When this goes out, I'll put one of those adverts yes. on, on a tweet. Right. I, I, like I think that they are like Carabao, the energy drink. Mm. No one's ever seen a can of Carabao mm. in real life. Mm. Just like no one's actually seen a pair of your fart pants in real yeah. life. Yeah, I've just seen the adverts. Are, are these big... Shop like fronts for money laundering. Like, oh, are they are they putting like w- bit of money laundering? I but mean, wh- where do you get Carabao from? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Like, I why, money, how mm. have they sponsored a whole competition? They'd be like, lads, have we remembered to actually make yeah, this? Did product? you read about how mm. much prize money was being offered? Like, well, L- Liverpool in winning it won like twenty five grand or something. It, yeah. It's really Ooh. low. Wow. Yeah. Like, the, if you win the FA Cup, you get three and a half million. Yeah. And Champions yeah. League is like tens that, of millions. Yeah, I think. You can look at the sponsors of the League Cup to see that how much interest there is in it, uh, and yet nobody's cottoned on. Maybe that's why we ke- keep getting more and more elaborate and niche, um, yeah, kind of foreign sponsors of it. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it will be the fart pants. Fart pants. <laughs> <cup. laughs> it's entirely possible. If you had, a, if you had unlimited wealth and you had, and you'd made it all from fart <laughs> pants you would have such pleasure yeah. in calling it the fart pants cup when yeah. you paid I mean, all your money yeah, behind that it works a loss leader both literally and figuratively yeah um so all this all this is really is mm. it's like a pass that gets you on as many rides as possible yeah the only problem with that and uh we should probably put this in small print is that eventually um people will tire and die yeah, they and will. If not, they will. Or, it should be and or die, I think, because we shouldn't guarantee death. Because no, we don't want to be the. It, we don't want another suicide. So, sorry, who's euthanic. dying here? Well, if it's not cl- click and cock, in mm. which case we 
we they can't be them that again you know like we said in the intro it's just too yeah it's, it's two men in a sausage out in in a in a bun outfit with mm. with click and cock carrying sh- around on. the park yeah, yeah. so we don't need to a have a face to... outlet and the sausage costume no. it could just be no how maybe we should like how piece. is anyone going to know it's click and cock they're wearing shirts we just <laughs> They're wearing Pro- shirts. Oh, yeah, they're wearing they're, shirts. They're yeah. shirts. And we really promise there is definitely click and cock. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just transportation. Well, this is so the where thing. does the Bielsa clock come into it? Well, because it's Bielsa time. And this was the thing is like, this is the problem when you try and speed up time. Yeah. Um, and you've only got sort of a week to to, to work it out. Um, mm. As we have sort of between records. And that's, and that's the issue. And so... Because we can't speed up time, no. Because we just don't have the we don't have the time to work out how to do that. It's um, quite hard doing that. It's quite hard. Yeah. And so I thought, what could happen is maybe we could slow everything down. Yep. So for a period, the football land just goes on half speed. Yeah. And in, in which point, you being ferried around by click and cock, um, it makes it look makes like it everything seem it really quick. Yeah. Quicker and faster. That would make people go on. You know, actually go with them. Yeah. As the transportation. Yeah. Because, like, you know when people go in Soho on a rickshaw ride? Yes. For, like, 300 yards. Mm. And you think, what? why are you... Sorry, what are you... Why are you going on that... What are you doing? It's for the, it's th- for the social media, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah. right, okay. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I think you know, the question is... why and they're was, also shit-faced, so what? it does not that much... <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Like <laughs> and they really like the tunes that are coming out of those speakers. <laughs> why, why Why? would Why would people go on there? Because well, is, are they it's, Leeds, it's, would they be Leeds fans? Not necessarily. It's it's just... It's a way to get around... We've got so many rides in yeah, football now. And, to get around. and you're not going to get around them all. So if you've not paid for an overnight... Stay at the international break if you're not, if you're just, if you're in Qatar for whatever reason um, and pop out to, to yeah. football land, there's a lot to get through. And so, I mean, one obvious option is, you know, th- those lads have been drilled yeah. and have amazing stamina. Oh, mate, the um, murder ball they play. Yeah, but they do tire. Yeah. That's what's happened. Every Bielsa team eventually tires because it's not sustainable. Um, and so maybe that's our kind of T and C. It's like, look, you buy the click and clock Bielsa clock yep. pass. Uh-huh. We'll get you on as many rides as possible. Maybe it's a priority access. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. There's a separate queue for you where you're just, you know, maybe the rides don't even stop at that point and click yeah. and clock. Just, yeah. just throw you on yeah. and then drag you off and off to the next. And it's just a whirlwind. It's a risk. It's a thrill ride in itself, and it will break, and you will, will break, be hurt yeah. by it. So it's like it's ultimately it's like it's a bit like uh, one of those wing roulettes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y- you're going to buy the pass, yeah, and it guarantees you to get on more rides than you would in whatever period it takes before click and cock collapse. Yeah, fine, and and yeah. you could be hurt by that. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, and you'd have that on your conscience, mm. but hurting yeah. them. Yeah, and and or yourself. Mm. Um, okay, well, no, I now now you've put it in that way. I do like the risk r- reward aspect of it, yeah. and I also like the fact that if we slow down the rest of the park while people are on a uh, click clock, click clock, Bielsa clock, yeah, then it does make sense for people to go on it because they'll feel yeah. like they're going quicker. There, do, there, there is a philosophical element to bending time here, yeah. and, and I'll mention this in case it's relevant. I once saw a, a nature documentary about how different animals and different species perceive time. Yeah, so they. They showed how a fly sees the world Mm. and (coughs) everything in that fly's world is incredibly slow. Yeah. Yeah. So the faster the animal moves, the slower it's perceiving time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So This is one of Einstein's theories, isn't it? If if you're moving faster, you perceive time quicker or you see others as moving slower. Yeah, Yeah. so that's what would happen to people on the cock sausage. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) I think probably uh, on that note, let's have uh, a we've, vote we've, on that. we've, yeah. we've, we've, yeah. we've, we've proved it. We've yeah. proved that there is kind of substantial, solid science behind this. Yeah. And Mark just said cock sausage. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah. I think yeah. at that point, we probably just leave it there. Yeah. Um, all and right. all those in favour of the click cock or glitch or glitch cock, uh, Bielsa clock, uh, they want it in football and say I after three. One, two, three. Aye. Aye. Congratulations. Yeah, yep. yeah, good, all in. Good. All in. Nice. Lovely. Nice. Foot, 
Mark, you've got a thing. Hello. Yes, I've got a thing. Yeah, yeah. go on then. It's called Stick It In The Mixer. Ooh. And this is a very advanced thrill-seeking attraction. Mm. Um, so you're aware of the phrase, stick it in the mixer. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Public teams up and down the country mm. regularly shout this. My favourite example I've ever heard it was when I was temping for a company that had just bought an office in France. They sent us over, the football team, over to play the French office. <laughs> They had someone get injured in the warm-up, so Matt Jerwood from our team played for them. He didn't speak any French, and just remember him charging forward, shouting, "Stick it, Don's le mixer," <laughs> uh, and uh, it's the international language. And they, the, they le did. mélange. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, <laughs> it is quite a random approach to football. It's not yeah. the finesse, fine-tuned tiki taka. It's more the Sam Allardyce mm. stick it in the mixer. Graham Taylor famously punted it long. The mixer is an existing fairground attraction. Right. You all know what I mean by a mixer, don't you? Uh, no, actually, no. What is a mixer? So it has three arms, I think, maybe four. Right. And you have kind of cars or seats at the bottom of each of the four arms. Yeah. And the, each arm revolves mm. and then the whole thing revolves. Yeah, yeah. okay. So okay. it's a dizzying, sick, making yeah. kind of horrible experience. Yeah. Sometimes they swing as well, yeah. Yeah. side to side. So you... God knows what, which way is up and where you are and what you're doing. If you watch a mixer that doesn't swing from side to side, you're actually doing triangles all the time. Yeah. Mm. So these are big arms. We're going to have four arms, and yep. each arm will have a circular space to fit 11 players. Nice. So there's effectively yep. four teams... Mm-hmm. On the mixer, yeah, yep. it spins. Each arm spins, so you don't know where you are. Balls regularly drop from the top of the device, yeah. And surrounding this ride is a uh, four goals. Uh huh. Oh. One is your own goal, so you don't score in that. Yeah, yeah. Yep. But you're scoring in one of the other three. Mm-hmm. Multiple balls are dropping. You are attached for safety. You have to be strapped in, but you we develop some advanced strapping whereby you can still kick a ball and you can mm. still head a ball. Your so legs you, are free. Your, your legs are free. You're sort of standing. You're in a, like almost like a parachute harness. Something like yeah. that or, or some kind of round the middle with, with yeah. struts. Or like those, um, those like, uh, what are they called that climbers go in? They're like pants, but... Um, there's no pants, there's just the seams. Oh, yeah, fat pants, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are those things? You know, the kind of climbers will put the one leg in each hoop. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, and you, yeah. And it kind of, it's... You it's like a, it's just a harness thing, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's a harness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's, what's that harness, harness thing called? Uh, a harness? Uh, yeah, well, it's like pants without pants. Visible pants. Yeah, it's yeah. invisible pants. Pants seams. Yeah, it so seems. You, so you're standing there in your pants seams. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. You're, you're close and you've got free well. range to sort of, but, but you can't control whether you're going up, left or right. Basically, you can just head or kick whatever comes head into your path. Kick. If a yeah. ball comes yeah, your yeah, way, yeah. you're heading or you're kicking. Okay. Mm. And I guess... So, we, so you're just hoofing it and hoping, as you would yeah. when you hoof it into the it's, mixer. It's, yeah. it's being, balls are being chucked in the mixer. Yeah. You, you are on the mixer. And you're k- kicking it out of the mixer. And you're kicking it out of the mixer, oh, yes. Right. So, so stick it out of the mixer. Ooh. Stick it in the mixer and then kick it out of the mixer. Yeah. Stick it... Or it, stick it in the goal, but so not your own. The title will be <laughs> Stick It In The Mixer, and then the tagline is Stick It Out Of The Mixer. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we colour code the goals, so yeah, yeah, there's yeah, four yeah, different yeah. colours, and you, you're trying not to kick it in your own goal. Well, what you could have instead of goals, or it'd still be goals, but imagine like below you, you've got... Um, uh, you've got sort of a raised pyramid dome sort of thing, which has got mm-hmm. four sides uh, with channels so that, uh, and they're coloured four different colours, so that you're still, wherever you're kicking, it's going to be a goal. Nothing's going to be a miss, but it's yeah. going to go into one of the channels as yeah. you kick, and yeah. it's going to go into the whole, like, sort of uh, down the hill. Well, except stuff will automatically go down the hill. Yeah. And and I think we we should only award points and goals if you've actively kicked it in the goal. Okay, so uh, below you there's a sheer drop of a uh, of a hole. Well, no, it's if around it goes... you, it's level with you. Right, okay. So okay. There's, there's like yeah. a, a yeah, square yeah, yeah, yeah. of I get goals. You. I get you. But if it falls downwards it just goes through a hole. Uh, it just goes through a hole. But also, anyone that scores an own goal falls through a hole and is out of the right. Oh, wow. Ooh. So it's last man standing. Last, so last man standing. The, the game stops when one team has lost all of its players because they've scored too many own goals. Yeah. And then we assess... 
So, so the ride could last anything from two minutes to four hours. Yeah. The moment 11 players have scored an own goal and they've all dropped through the bottom of their particular arm of the mixer, we then stop the ride, everyone gets off, and we tot up who's won. Wow, that's wow. great. Do you know what? You could play that. Um, we could test that without the spinning round if we um, hired a village hall oh. and then everyone <laughs> and got, and High got tech. five, uh, well, probably not 11 because it's too big, but if you got um, put a, a rows of chairs in a circle with mm. everyone facing inside yeah. and the goals behind them and you just drop footballs, yeah. people sitting on their chairs could try and fire it into either goal. We could do that at yeah. a school fate. Well, or, or a WI meeting. Just yeah. <laughs> crash in. I, you, you wouldn't be able to score an own goal in that. because you, No, you wouldn't you be would... able to score an own goal, but you'd still be able to try and score past other people's nets and trying to be saving it at the same time. It's a good idea. I we do should, maintain that we that'll should, be a, that. We should yeah. actually test it like that. I wondered, um, you know, the old stick it in the mixer, uh, you know, sort of mentality uh, escalates, right? Um, it goes to a place where in, inevitably the only sort of act of desperation left is putting the centre half up front, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's kind of like ultimate stick it in the mixer, yeah. right? Well, goalkeepers. Yeah, goalkeepers Stuart as well. Stuart Pearce brought the reserve goalkeeper on yeah. but didn't take David James on. He put him up front. Yeah. And they still had a striker on the bench. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty offensive to that striker. Could throw a retired centre half into the, into the mixer as well? Um, um, as a ball? Just as a bit of chaos... So <laughs> yeah. maybe um, yeah, yeah. he's in the middle of the mixer and as the balls are coming in, he's firing them at you even harder. Yeah. Um, yeah. You could even throw a goalkeeper in, well, like He say. could be on like a, a personal, either a jetpack or a drone. So he's attached yeah. to a drone, so he's hovering. Say, or one of those bungee harnesses. Yeah, I thought you were going to say uh, yeah. bungee yeah, 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 before yeah, you yeah. went oh, jetpack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Bungie's better. Bungie's it was better. The, yeah, it, it was the kind of the dichotomy you created between village hall and jetpack. That, yeah, um, <laughs> threw me. Uh, I mean, the, the WI would draw the line what? if we started whizzing about on jetpacks. How do we ensure that he's being Victoria's fair to all cake. teams and not and not? Uh, well, also, how are we going to protect him if he's coming into the middle of this whirling mm. system of hydraulics and mm. vast speeding mixer arms? He's going to get hurt. Could he just hang killed? Hang above it. Um, in a in a in a sort of in a way, and as the balls as they're coming on the parabola or whatever, um, that he as he's bouncing up and down on his yeah. sort of giant baby door bouncer thing. Yeah, yeah. He's kind of like volleying them at you. Yeah, um, yeah. Just as a kind of to take it up a notch. Yeah. Um, you know how like fairground rides and and kind of fates, not fates really, fairground or like what well, was it called when like the circus comes to town? Is it a fairground when when it's sort of they just rock up fair. on a steam fair? Oh, steam fair! It's gone steampunk. Um, <laughs> what's it called when you like you know they just rock up on a on a park? Uh, yeah, on a grass. It's like yeah. a fun fair. Fair. fun fair. It's fun fair. It's traveling fun fair. Yeah. Yeah. Fun fair. Yeah. So yeah, they're it, always really they're safe. All, yeah, they're, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Those you can rides rely are on always them. at those, but there is always that bit where it goes like in a really nineties kind of voice. Yeah, everybody ready now, or something to the equivalent of that, where it goes like going up and it's like a kind of electro track, like <laughs> yeah. Stephen Corkers in the baby suit. <laughs> And so it hey, goes, we should dress whoever that is as a baby. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so it's just kind of like ramping it up. And when you think it can't get any higher because Stephen Corker's like smashing volleys, you know, yeah. smashing balls at you, heading like bullet headers at you, and people are dropping like flies, yeah, getting, yeah, you know, yeah. knocked out. It goes, everybody, you think it couldn't get any higher? We're going to get. <laughs> and you're kind of tucking David James. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, chucking and, David and, James and, or even, you know, uh, Alison scores, so, doesn't he, in the centre of that? Yes. Alison Moyer. Yeah, Alison Moyer. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I say chuck Alison Moyer and Alison Becker in, yeah, Ooh. because actually that that would help limit the length of the game. It's like it's not going to go on yeah. too long if yeah. every minute another yeah. harder random harder baby harder drops harder. in, yeah. yeah, and and they're all dressed as giant babies, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like it. And we'll and we'll ask them to like wet themselves. Uh, we'll have a baby ish element to it. They've yeah. got sick down their fronts. <laughs> They're, They're being sick down their front, yeah. <laughs> They're, They've got <laughs> dummies in as well and if you're the team that loses because you've all scored an own goal, yeah. you each have to st have a go on the dummy. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. And that's not going to yeah. be very nice. Ooh, in the yeah. gift shop. It, um, how much would David Jones be paid to poo in his own pants? Uh, well, he's an artist. He'd probably do it and try and sell it. Yeah. So. Mm. We, we could just say we Tracy Evans does it. David. 
Yeah. 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 That, yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I like, yeah, I like where this has gone. It's got lots yeah. of, um, it's, it's got lots of elements. It's got a jeopardy. It's, it's got a continual escalation and it seems very affordable. Mm. Um, and yeah, one of the more affordable ones we've yeah, got. Yeah, and we can sort of retrofit either one of those things. Yeah. Um, just give it a paint job and just find a way of harnessing people instead of having them in safe cages. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, and just sort of get some giant baby graphics. How do they fall off um, safely while it's going round and round? Well, I hadn't paid much attention to that because I was thinking it might be funnier rather than them sliding down. Well, they, they just, just get sp- pinged uh, off. Yeah. Ooh. Or it could be ejected upwards because that's probably upwards, the yeah. safest, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Ejected Ooh. upwards. Then they could... bump into Alice and Moye, Alice, the Allisons, <laughs> as they're shitting themselves and hoofing balls into <laughs> other players' faces. True. They could go backwards into their own goal. And that's, and that's like a safety net in it. It, it, it could be, but, it, but yeah, so the mechanism just, just has to time it right when it ejects them. They just, so it's spinning around and it gets it exactly right, bang, into the back of the, your own yeah, net. And yeah, they, yeah. They, um, and they sit the ride out there. It's definitely the one of the more cost-effective rides we've got, mm. but also one of the more mechanically risky. It's, it's complex, it yes. Could, How it do could we go monitor, wrong. like, you've just scored an own goal, so next time we're passing your... Goal, yeah, which will be like in within a second, two of a second. Yeah. you get ejected into that goal. That's that's quite an advanced bit of technology. Yeah, but it? you know, sensors, sensors, oh, yeah. sensors. special sensors. sensors. We've solved it. Sensors. We'll use special sensors. Sensors. All right. Okay. Well, I, 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 yeah, yeah. Are we ready probably, to? Yeah. 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 I yeah. Think so, yeah. Okay. All, right. All those in favour of stick it in the mixer brackets stick it out of the mixer with <laughs> Alison Moye. After three, say I. One, two, three. Aye. Aye. Well yeah, done, Mark. Lovely. Yeah, lovely. Let me take your hand. I want to take you to football land. It's building the sand. And, and, and now I'll run out of lyrics. Okay, then. Well, I guess that leaves you, Anthony. That's right. This is a ride uh, slash experience. And um, we are going to, it's called Be the Kepper. And yep. uh, we are going to recreate for football and guests um, the chance to be, uh, to recreate Kepper Arisa Balaga's performance in the 2022 Carabao Cup final. Um, so this is. Uh, admittedly, the, performance. The, yeah. Well, that, that's the thing. The queue and, and is, successful, or oh no, no way, it wasn't. Yeah, the queue. Well, the, one of the mechanics for this ride is unfortunately, it's got to be realistic. The queue has to last eighty nine minutes, and it's going to be, it's going to be <laughs> off putting for, mm. uh, for. Um, well, doesn't it need to last one hundred and nineteen minutes? Oh yeah, yeah one hundred and nineteen yeah. minutes. Yeah. I beg your pardon. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, it, it, so one hundred and nineteen minutes of queuing. So that's almost two hours. Of queuing, I think that's yeah, most. But, that's pretty standard in a lot of yeah, peak time. Yeah, uh, one of your many Disney's. Yeah, 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 you do know, get queues that I long. I know someone who took his son to Alton Towers during a school holiday, and he said we were there for eight hours, and we got onto three rides. Oh, there we go. So, so, so it's not the unrealistic. Else, the time pass. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, he should. He should have. I said to you him, you want, to, you want to put your son on a cock sausage, exactly, mate. Exactly, yeah. So so basically, it, the, the ride is quite simple. It's in two stages. Yep. So during the queue, you're watching a goal, okay? And you're watching a ball. Uh, so just, just for the listeners, Anthony made a gesture with a, his hands that, yeah. um, that signalled a goal, yeah. not actually watching somebody score a goal. I was visualising what a goal looked like. people are actually... Just watching an empty goal. Well, you're watching an empty goal, but you're watching a ball being uh, repelled from the goal. Oh. So it's like the ball's got electromagnets in. Oh. So it is um, getting repelled again and again. The ball's not mm. going in the goal. Right. And then you get to go onto the field and learn what it's like for the ball to go into the goal past you. So no matter <laughs> with the same electromagnets, mm. no matter which way you dive, the yeah. ball will be repelled from you. I think we just do that via your gloves. If we give each uh, rider um, some gloves with um, uh, the opposite pole, oh, magnety yeah. on there. Magnety. Pop, yeah. Or and te- then whichever way you yeah. dive, you will not get anywhere near to the ball. Yeah, it's going to kind of banana right at the last minute, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And that would be really fun trying to, you know, dive towards it and trying to beat the system, but you'll never beat the system. It's a bit um, like, have you ever seen that video with the robotic uh, goalkeeper? Yeah. And he's just on a pivot. He sort of pivots like the hand of a clock, uh, but really quickly. And you've got loads of like professionals trying to take 
penalties yeah. past that and the keeper saves it every time. You have a good 10 minutes of the ball flying past you every mm. every every which way you go. And then just to, to cap it all off, mm. just a lovely thing. To cap it all off. You get, to cap it all off, you get into a giant um, replica Carabao Cup final ball. Yeah. The stitching on. And then you get hoofed by a piston <laughs> foot uh-huh. straight up in the air, free flowing. Yeah into a giant inflatable sort of bouncy castle of uh, scousers. A scouse, oh. a, a, a Liverpool fan sort of mocked up Liverpool fans' faces, their shirts, but decorated bouncy castle that you can just land on nice. to replicate the winning penalty. So, or well, the losing penalty, mm. yeah. depending on how, how you look at it. The time you spent in the actual ride is quite brief, but mm. you do fly into, uh, you know, I think, I think yep. it, it definitely justifies the weight. Can we involve or incorporate maybe in the queuing system his other great Carabao Cup moment, which I can't remember the year, but <laughs> yeah. three or four years ago Cup when he, Euro, yeah. he refused refused to be mm. subbed off. It's like karma was sort of mm. haunting yeah, him in this, yeah. Yeah. in this one. Well, I was toying with the idea of you, uh, you, you get into the ball with Willy Caballero Ooh. and he's just smiling and chuckling as it sails over and yeah. just enjoying the moment with a lit cigar. But I think if you're hurling through the the air, sort of spinning round and there's a lit cigar in there, that could be really dangerous and could it could the actually set fire to the foot ball. be Willy Caballero? Yeah, it could be. It could be. Because the other glorious thing about that, he refused to come off and how many penalties did he save? I think it was none again. I can't it? remember. Yeah, the, the the thing is, he just they justified it with he saved loads of penalties in the Carabao Cup up to this point. What is in it for people queuing up? Why would you queue up? Um, to do I this? think it's just it justifies it, and it's just a wonderful. I mean, how often do you get to fly in a massive football? Um, True. I would, you know, have you ever been um, parachuting or bungee jumping? Yeah. The DVD they sell you at no, the end is like yeah. thirty quid. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but you're gonna bet you're gonna pay it, aren't you? Because you're gonna watch, you want to watch I did a yourself parachute back. jump and couldn't afford the DVD. Well, there we go. Ball. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's all so, in my memory. It's it lives in as more strong memories. And if you are sitting in there with Willy Caballero, yeah, then you do get to meet him as well, and that it yeah. would be an would extra. He, that would make for an excellent parachute video if you yeah. looked up and you were strapped to Willy <laughs> Caballero. <laughs> That's why. And you go, do you know anything about parachutes? You like, no, I'm a goalkeeper. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, yeah, I wondered if we should strap people together like that. So yeah. you get in the football yeah. and for no reason at all, Willy Carriera just comes up behind you and just puts you in a little harness. Because <laughs> it's got to be <laughs> safe. And, and he's just, and you're like, you try and move away and you're like, oh no, I'm actually strapped to yeah, Willy Carriera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, uh, you've got to be an expert at that. I don't know if you've ever heard of uh, the Niagara Falls. Yeah. yeah. No, what's that? They um uh, now and then people put themselves inside a barrel yeah. and just yeah. go over the yeah. falls. Yeah. Now you've got to be a bit of an expert at that. Mm. And I think you've Even probably the experts have come undone by that. Yeah, exactly. And I think you've got to be a bit of an expert at flying in a giant football. Yeah, there's a few um, of those. So around. so I think Willy Caballero, we train him up. Let him I think we should still let him light a cigar in there. I yeah, think let's I, let's, have a, let's let him have a atmosphere. cigar. You yeah. shied away no. from the safety element of that, and I don't think that's in keeping with the general brand of football land. Yeah. Also, it's kind of a bit like like a big launch, isn't it? Almost yeah, like yeah. that's that's you know when you watch a space rocket go up or a space shuttle back in the day, mm. the build up is the entertainment. Yeah. The actual yeah. when it goes off is a bit boring. You go, know, that's not moving very fast. No. Even though yeah, Ryan it the, is the space critic. Yeah. Exactly. You're like, oh god. Oh, it's <laughs> just imagine the. In, in cockpit footage of Ryan's. <laughs> What's going on? It's a bit boring, isn't it? Because you hurt all the th- out of the Earth's atmosphere at it's, two billion miles an hour. So, <laughs> it's perspective, isn't it? Like sometimes you really see, you see a plane properly like gunning it across the sky. Yeah, gunning and, it. Uh, and when pilots floored it. <laughs> yeah, and when you see he's oh, he's got a good tailwind. Um, but when you see a rocket, it, you, the, the perspective you don't know how big it is. You need a man stood prepared. Yeah, do you know when they used to go to like um, far flung, far flung places, explorers? Yeah, and they take pictures. Well, when they came back with the pictures, people were like, "Yeah, look at this guy. He was only three foot." Yeah, and people go, "No." 
he looks like a normal sized man. And so they have to go okay. back and stand next to them for perspective. Right, they have to go back to, to, go yeah. back to take the picture yeah. again. Oh, I thought of that the <laughs> they first time. Go I know. Back. And so they went for the second trip. It, was not, it wasn't that they had just a great lads holiday and yeah, it was like, yeah. you know, time away from the wife. It was that people they, did die people, on the second trip. Yeah, they did. Because um, they were too busy <laughs> trying to get the photos again with these people. Exactly. Like, oh, you've and got so, a photo already. So you need perspective. And that's why you need somebody stood next to the rocket as it goes up, yeah. willing to be engulfed in. Flames. Yeah, yeah. So, you get so how does that relate to of, the perspective for the ball? Well, I was just saying that the, those right, it's all in the build up. Oh, because the see. actual right, taking right, off is not right. that important. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Willie Caballero being in the corner, puffing out a bit of you know, cigar smoke. Cigar smoke, very yeah. Very moody. Oh, really? A bit moody. like when they go, engines engaged or whatever they say. Yeah. And, it, and all of the smoke starts coming yeah. up. And it's like that at that moment, the anticipation is is this thing going to explode? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right now, because it looks like it's going to. Yeah. Is that little bit that comes away from the side of it going to come away cleanly? It's yeah. like, oh, we're yeah. taking yeah. this with us. Yeah. Come on, NASA. Like, yeah. get it. And then a little bit breaks off, and you're like, well, yeah, of course, so many shuttles exploded. Yeah. Because there's always stuff coming off the rocket as it goes up. And, and also, when you're watching documentaries about the moon landings and all of that, you look at the control room, they're all mm. having a cigarette, aren't they? They're all smoking. <laughs> all of them. Yeah. yeah. So Even if I they think, don't smoke, you know, they've got a cigarette. It would be go. disrespectful to NASA if yeah. Willy Caballero wasn't smoking in there a cigar. Yeah. There, there is an element of Kepa's behaviour at the most recent Carabao Cup that could kill two birds with one stone in that he was indulging in mind games, very yeah. cynical mind games yeah. throughout. Roughing up the penalty spot, etc. Roughing up the penalty yeah. spot, yeah. shouting not things, line, yeah. not standing his line. Um, standing to one side of the goal when Van Dyke took his pen. pointing to where he should put it. Yeah. So do we employ, does Willy Caballero... Is he the mind games expert for mm. anyone in the queue? Well, yeah, I mean, mind games in the queue. You could have someone being like, oh, your turn next. Or, or, or is it? You got, <laughs> yeah. How long's the queue? You've got a 50 Ooh, 50 chance 50 of survival. Minutes, yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah. Or, or, a, bit, or, or do a lot of am I joshing? Am I not? Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe it's a bit like one of those golf simulators that you used to play, those games where you had to get the... Yeah. You can't go yeah. too big on the power no. and the left and right. Yeah. And maybe we make Kepa hit the button for the, for the pneumatic leg. Yeah, and that we everybody in the queue is playing mind games on Kepper because he's going to try and score mm. and fluff it all. Yeah. But it, we've rigged the machine that ninety nine times out of a hundred, it's definitely going to miss. So, but, there's, <laughs> but there's still one percent chance that he could, and so the whole queue spends you know one hundred nineteen minutes going. <laughs> that type of that's really good for them because otherwise it's a very boring two it hours is, in the queue yeah. exactly 119 yeah. minutes how as well how long are we going to get Kepa to stay there how soon is he going to realise that the odds are against him scoring well he's very determined as we saw he doesn't want to come off yeah, you know no, what I mean yeah. so he's going to and those games are addictive if we yeah. put the right amount of sort of bells and whistles and yeah yeah little rewards in so it kind of yeah, he can change the bars and he can, just, <gasps> yeah. oh. he can change his profile picture and yeah. buy new things in yeah. the uh, yeah. online store yeah. um also just thought of some money making tips here oh. bit of marketing and mm-hmm. uh, you know extra revenue the bouncy castle of scousers faces you could pay to have your face put yes. in there a bit like leeds united did during lockdown you could yeah. pay for have your yes. picture those, on the seats like, and then one of them was osama bin laden yeah so we could get really? yeah, yeah so yeah. we could get you know, you could Somebody Liverpool fans. And that got through. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So you could get f- like 5,000 Liverpool fans paying £10 each to have their faces and we'll put in Osama Bin Laden just for like, <laughs> just for, you know, the nostalgia yeah, of yeah. 2020 nostalgia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. That's it. That's, uh, that's, the, that's the ride. Again, very simple. Mm, um, again. Very too, doable. Too, very doable. Yeah. And Willy Caballero, he's coming to the end of his career. Um, he would be up for it. And yeah. let's yeah. get him smoking. Yeah. All right. Uh, all in favour of Be The Kepper, say aye. Three, two, one. Aye. aye. Thank you. And that's the end of that. It's hard to pick a favourite. Yeah, well, I was thinking, you know, 
going forward, mm -hmm. we could, uh, just because we've got so many rides now and um, we're going to have to really limit what we do, we could have an, an overriding vote of which which is the your favourite ride at of the, the three of, yeah. at the end of each meeting Ooh. to propose one that gets built quicker than the others if we had to prioritise. And it's, you're not allowed um, to vote for your own. But we could also put that out to the ear holders, the listeners yeah. themselves, the ear um, holders, put a poll yeah. out uh, every episode, which is your favourite ride. Uh, if, if we were you Matthew know, Slick in this in this instance, it, it, exactly, it could yeah. be for the sake of argument. So I think so. maybe we'll put a poll out every yeah, week. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, or we could do this. Look, look, Wait, pick a finger. Uh, left one. Yeah, it was my ride. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's easier. Let's just do that. All yeah. right. There's definitely no yeah, cheating let's just do that. All right then. All right. So, yeah. See you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.